This is our second lesson on discouragement, the unaware weapon of Satan. And we talked about how David was distressed when he came back to Ziglag and with his army, he found that the enemy had come in and stole all the children and their wives and their belongings and burnt their city. And the Bible tells us that David was distressed. So uh, what does it mean? We said last week to be distressed. We said to be distressed means to be vexed in your soul. And the soul is your mind, your emotions. And we talked about how vexed it means to be to experience an in, in, internal harassment of pain and misery of mind where the, the battle's huge in your head. Discouragement, we said, will rob you of your confidence in God. We said discouragement can bring you so low that you become vulnerable to even further attacks and temptations of the devil. So we just dissected the word discouragement. We said you have the word, the, the part dis, a prefix that means the absence or the opposite of. You have the word courage, that state of mind that allows you to face life's negative circumstances with confidence. So discouragement, we said, is the absence or the opposite of confident state of mind to face life's negative circumstances with confidence. And once your confidence in God is depleted, you open the door, we said, to, to a host of demonic activity uh, uh, from the enemy of your soul. So that brings us here. Discouragement leads to false conclusions. I hope that you'll recognize these. Like when Satan wins, you, you conclude that God has deserted you. When you feel like you're losing, you feel like, okay, God's deserted me. And God said, I'm, I'm not going to leave you nor forsake you. When you, when you conclude that God is no, no, no longer cares about your circumstances. Or when you conclude that God will not listen to your prayers. Or when you conclude your circumstances are bigger than your God. No, that's a big one. Sometimes we look at, at our circumstances and they're in our face and they look bigger than God's going to be able to handle. Or when you conclude that God has stopped working. Let me tell you something. God never stops working. I am so glad I've got that truth in my heart. Because there are times where I wonder, God, are you doing anything? And yet we know God never stops working. Or when you conclude that he's not worthy of your faith or your confidence or your service. And these are the attacks of the enemy in the mind of the believer to bring that this level of discouragement, that vexing of the mind and the emotions. This represents a victory for Satan when we allow that to happen, having one or more of God's children in full view of the angels of heaven, in full view of the demons of hell, and in full view of the humans on earth who, who has stopped believing God. It's a sad day when people see God's children in discouragement and defeat. At the moment of discouragement, you do the opposite of worship. Think about that, okay? Because worship is doing is ascribing the worth to God for who He is, not for what He has done. And if worship is based on events, the negative events will rob us of our worship of God. Don't let that happen, okay? Remember this. Disappointment is not discouragement. Let's learn this. Listen. Disappointment is not discouragement. Dis disappointment is an event. Discouragement is an attitude. Let's take, go with that again. Disappointment is not discouragement. Disappointment is an event, and discouragement is an attitude. And the enemy will use disappointing events to get us discouraged in our attitudes. So we're going to take that. We're going to come back here next week. And I just want you to understand is, is the enemy will use disappointing events to get us discouraged in our attitudes. And we'll come back next week and take up here. Thank you for watching our Looking for Answers videos. And uh, this next couple of weeks, we'll be looking at discouragement, the unaware weapon of Satan. And Satan uses this weapon of discouragement in many of our lives. So it's always great to hear what we can do and what God can do through us. So why don't you join us in the next couple of weeks on discouragement, the unaware weapons of Satan.